Here I show you my large 3D printable split flap display with 16 flaps. You can download it for free and print it yourself. All you need is a 28BJY48 stepper motor and some M3 bolts and nuts. Print all 16 flaps and the gears by using a slow outer wall printing speed. 10 mm per second worked well for me. 0.3 mm layer height is enough. You don't need support for that. Next, print the motor holder. You also need some support on these spots. It is okay to use a faster printing speed here and 0.3 mm layer height as well. Now assemble the drums and the separator. Pay attention that sits really tight and straight. You might need to glue them together. Carefully bend the motor holder apart to insert the drums into the holder. Test if they can spin freely. If it doesn't run smooth or gets stuck, use sandpaper to make it run well. Keep in mind that the motor is not very strong. Now insert the M3 nuts into the motor gear like that. Loosely screw in the bolts. Use very short bolts, otherwise the flaps will get stuck later on. Slide the motor shaft into the space between the nuts, then tighten the bolts carefully. Pay attention that the gear runs straight and without wobbling. Screw the motor onto the holder while paying attention that the gears have a nice fit, and correct the motor position if needed. Inserting the flaps is easy. You can just carefully bend them so that they fit into the holes of the drum. You can paint or glue the numbers, letters, and symbols on the flaps before, or after they are inserted. As a last step, put the front on. This holds everything together and provides the perfectly tuned flapping position. It has to sit really tight. You might need to secure it with a drop of hot glue. I also delivered some 3D printable numbers and hieroglyphs for a swan station counter I plan to build. Print them with 0.2 mm layer height and a slow printing speed. In a different color of course. I put a download link for all parts into the video description. The gears have a 2 to 1 ratio so every time the motor did 1024 steps, the first flap will show again. One flap has exactly 64 steps. If you want to use a magnet with Hall Effect sensor, you can place them here. It will trigger the sensor every 2048 steps. Now have fun with your split flap display. You can easily control it with an Arduino, ESP, or Raspberry Pi via a ULN2003 driver. I am happy about likes and shares and of course, if you have any suggestions or feedback, let me know in the comments.